Yeah, it's a long time ago. It, we started 17 years ago already. In that time, uh, the dancing was up and coming in uh, Holland. And we were looking for uh, a place for them to create, to network on an international level. And then the focus was mainly on, uh, on licensing tracks. So we brought labels from all over the world together, the publishers, and uh, set up uh, a, a network for them to license the tracks. So people were signing tracks all, all day long. In that day, the market for, uh, for CDs and mix CDs was quite big, actually. So uh, that was the beginning, and from there we slowly made it bigger and also attracted people from the live uh, scene like uh, promoters and uh, programmers and uh, agencies, for example. Uh, people were looking for international contacts. It's really important for the scene if you have the right contacts. It definitely can help you uh, forward in your business. And this is an international uh, uh, scene anyway, because it's music without a language uh, problem. So it's easy to step uh, across borders and you can feel it in the DNA of this music. Uh, uh, so everywhere you drop some tracks around the globe, people start dancing. So it is global, and uh, yeah, that's why it was easy to create it to start this platform. But though it was much smaller then than it is now, of course. So now we are 70 years after uh, the first added. Do you remember the first added? How was your feelings at the end of the days? It was again four days, or it was, it it was three less? days. Well, three days. Yeah. How did you feel at the end of the? I, I felt ter terrible because it was so hard working. I had no clue. So my advice: never start organizing an event like this. It was yeah, it was really hard working. But we said we started it, and uh, it was uh, quite a success. So now we are after 70 years and things have changed, of course. We have a different industry. Now everything goes digital. I like it very much. I think this is such an interesting uh, period for all of us because it's, I think music is becoming more yeah, realistic for people to produce and to make. Uh, uh, so that's really nice about the spirit and everybody is able to promote their music on an international level uh, via Facebook or Twitter and stuff like that. It's easy to share uh, music. Back in the days, yeah, DJs really had to put a lot of effort in uh, finding uh, the, the, the right record and, and bring them with them. And now, uh, yeah, the music is everywhere. Still, it's really a challenge to create good music and, and to be different than the rest and to be uh, recognized and to be successful. It's still a hard game because now you need more skills than ever to be on the top. How do you feel about this explosion of the dance music and how Arden reflects that? I think you can see it around because this week, for example, uh, a guy li uh, like Afrojack from Holland is in the studio here with Aiken for five days working with some other producers. So everybody is working together in the scene. The scene needs this uh, because it's about uh, using each other's uh, work and remixing and, uh, and promoting each other's music on the globe. And uh, uh, the Dutch scene is doing really well now on the international level. And in general, the whole scene is doing well also because of the explosion in, in, uh, in, uh, uh, in the United States, for example. And it opens a new doors for everybody. This kind of music you can basically use with all other genres. You can use beats and, uh, and, and stuff like that in, in jazz or rock or pop. So it's getting more and more popular. Very important to, to get what you deserve uh, also financially. Uh, so it's, it's important if you if you are on a certain kind of level that you take care of your business and be sure your your rights are protected and you have the right manager and the right publisher and uh, 
who also can make the difference for you by connecting you with the right people. And uh, it is very important. On, on that level, you need a professional standard in every part of your uh, career. This year we made a big step with uh, uh, organizing ADE Playground. We tried to uh, find a way to connect the day program, uh, uh, the night uh, culture, into the day program. Uh, movies, uh, in stores, with brands. So you see big DJs now doing shows in, uh, in uh, small uh, venues, for example. And uh, yeah, I strongly believe for this upcoming years to, to develop that more and more. We really believe in the next generation on every level, uh, uh, also for artists, but also for professionals in the scene. So we started at ADE University uh, together with some uh, uh, schools in Holland and the universities and uh, made a partnership. And because so many people are around in, uh, in Amsterdam now, from the industry, it's easy for them to share their knowledge with the new gen generation. This ADE, we presented uh, uh, some figures about the value for Holland. It's about uh, 560 mil million uh, uh, euros, the value of the total uh, uh, dancing. So it's really a lot and also it promotes Holland around the globe. And also uh, an event like ADE, it's just really uh, Amsterdam on the international uh, agenda for clubbers, for uh, for the creative industry, for example. And uh, yeah, we hope to attract more tourists this way for the city. So I think they recognize it. Uh, this year the website was like a live feed, but you can see a lot of stuff. Do you think that there must be a lot in the internet and is based a lot in the internet to find the people that they come here? I think, yeah, we uh, try to improve a lot on, uh, on that level. So we launched a new website and uh, with a lot of streams in it uh, to be uh, yeah, really a platform uh, more and more for the whole scene. And I think internet is really important role to promote the event, but also to promote the artist and the industry and also to share knowledge uh, uh, via the website. Who is deciding the topics of the various panels? It's uh, yeah. We, I work with a whole uh, team, basically an international team, because we. It's an international conference, so it's not only me uh, looking around and thinking about subjects. So, yeah, we have a kind of adv advisory board who bring in uh, ideas throughout the year, and also we get ideas from the industry. Uh, self or artists, for example, who say you really have to discuss this topic because it's important for us. So it's a whole year uh, thing. It's we difficult or easy to find the people that they take part in the panel. It's difficult to pursue. Not, not really, because ADE is such a high standard for the industry now. So yeah, people are really uh, happy to come over and to share the knowledge and. Though sometimes it's, it's a challenge. It took me about 10 years to have Danny Teneglia, for example, as a speaker, and so now, now we finally succeeded that. And about the, the night program and the festivals, did you decide which ones you grant as the official at the event? Do yeah. they go through a special selection? We, we uh, set up a, a partnership with uh, all the venues and promoters, where we started really small. Uh, and it's always, we are always in communication with the venues or promoters. Okay, what can we do? What do we miss? What do we want next year uh, at, at uh, ADE? So when we started, ADE was really about uh, house DJs from uh, UK, USA and Holland. And I wanted to have it more global, more live artists involved. And uh, that it's a true reflection of the whole scene on a global level. That's mainly uh, our uh, main uh, goal. Would you like to suggest to the people that they are not this year to other? Come over next year. Okay.